Hello everybody! It's your old friends and Monday Madness, and welcome to a very brand new playthrough here from your friends, myself, Jonathan, and Burkbot. Whoop whoop! I'm Join back. Joining us again for this one. So Burkbot, you have just come off the heels of a very fun and remittedly rushed playthrough of Monkey Island. Yes. Cur yes tree. Yeah. Curse of Monkey Island. Um, I think we had a good pace to it where we kind of slowed down for about the first 20 minutes and then rushed through the other four hours. I think that was a, <laughs> it was a good pace it's to it. It's a good it. tactic. I don't know whether I'm going to repeat that. I don't think so. No. I know. I think we, we have to change we have to change the times. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, because uh, we have kind of like, for at least uh, for the time being, we've dropped the kind of bad game aspect of your playthroughs. Because I think we've so you've suffered enough as it is. It's been a long Thank lockdown. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, you're on your summer holidays now. You you know, it's time for you to start enjoying uh, things a bit, a little bit, you know? A bit yeah. of a feel-good factor. I am totally up for that. Excellent. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to see another bad game. I'd be really devastated if this good game ended up like being my, the bane of my existence. Well, let's hope not, because I, I, I it feel... It can't be as bad as a dog's life. No, it absolutely cannot be that, right? I'll tell you why, because this game here, Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, is my favourite game. Okay. Ha that, like, that, you know... It, it, it legit is like my favorite game in my favorite genre as well. Okay. Which yeah. I've known, I've noticed like from the playthroughs that we've done together. I think you're you're quite a fan of this. Yes, kind of, the point and click kind yeah. of puzzle solving thing. Yeah, absolutely yes. love it. So I'm going to show you why I think this is the best game in this genre. Okay. As well, like I know we we have I've had fun with Monkey Island. There's a few other games that we can have on our little short list, but I think this is the gold standard, in my opinion. So it's all downhill from here. It's all downhill from here, exactly. Okay, so we're back to bad games then. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna look bad compared to, no, that's, uh, that's not, that's no, not no, true. No, no, in fairness though. Yeah, so let me give you a little uh, brief run down. I've kind of told you a little bit about how this game oh, is. I will just point out that yes. I have not been, I am not privy to what this game is. The only description you've mm. given me is that it's a point and click adventure as a cool. Yes. Set in the west of Ireland. And I was like, uh -huh. ah. Ah. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> okay. How is this a good game then? Because usually anything set in Ireland mm. is appalling. Yes. Yes. So exactly. this is kind of my most intriguing part is that, like, how can this be good? Okay. But right. I don't know anything else about it. Yeah. So I'll give you the brief run then, right? So, Broken Swords, the original game, because again, people may have noticed the director's cut is actually in the, le in the menu here. The original character was called George Stobart. He's an American tourist, a law student, and he's basically uh, having a tour around Europe, basically, on his gap year, or Fair words to that effect. And essentially what's happened is, in that time, he's been caught up in an incident, and he wants to find out the person's responsible for it, basically, okay. because, you know, he's a tourist, he's got no else on. So, why not find out the person who nearly tried to kill you? Yeah, that's fair. You know? I'd be the same. You'd be the same. So, that then brings him on to a, uh, an adventure that involves the Knight Templar. Hence the subtitle, Shadow of the Templars. Yes, okay. In France, it's called the Circle of Bloods, or at least the, the Tom's, the whatever it is. So, uh, in this director's cut, right, so we obviously have the story with George Stobart, that's one aspect of it, but the other main character of the series, including this game, is Nico Collard, who mm -hmm. is a French uh, investigative journalist. Okay. Right, so, uh, photojournalist to be precise. So, uh, she's investigating the other side of this case, where she knows there's murders going on, involving certain people and she's investigating the other side so the director's cut delightfully gives us some backstory on the nico character oh. as well okay and um, because over the series it's been five games in the broken sword series and you don't necessarily get that level of of information she's about just nico. a girl well funny enough she's written incredibly well okay. you know like how gabriel knight had the grace character yeah. and was a great foil for gabriel the fuckboy yeah this is kind of the same where like well not necessarily the same because george and nico have chemistry they definitely would if they could. Okay. But they have a kind of a will they won't they relationship like uh, Mulder and Scully do, or someone along those lines. Okay. You okay. Know? So this is the kind of idea. But um, but yeah, it's all about the Nice Templar. It's all about their stories and uh, their myths as well. And a lot of it is very well researched. Okay, that's really interesting. Cause yes. I have been on holidays in places where the Knights of Templars have had strongholds. Yes, and like Paris. Yes. <laughs> and this this game is set mostly in Paris. Ah. So. Oh, okay. So the yes. West of Ireland thing was just a ruse. It's not a ruse. West of Ireland is in this game. Okay. So, right. we travel around the world in this game, you see. And ah. the West of Ireland is one of them. So. <laughs> Paris, Berlin, West of Ireland, generic. <laughs> wished. Kit wished. And kitty. Well wished. Well wished. Well wished. Well wished. Well wished. Oh, yes. That doesn't all together. <laughs> Right, so let's get this stuck into it then. There's nothing any night Templar around here. No nice Templar! <laughs> ah, Jesus, only a bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we've no subtitles here because of a really annoying issue with the with the game. So we'll have to listen in. I like the kind of art style just from the 
from the get go. I yes. presume this is kind of reimagined from the original, but it's the same Archer style. Yes. Archer cartoon, yeah. So you might remember, like these are the same guys that made Beneath Steel Sky. <laughs> so the guy that got in to do the actual um, artwork, Dave Gibbons, they brought him back to do a remake Excellent. of this along with the second game. Uh, this is put out. The director's cut was put out for uh, iPad for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, Classic for gaming yeah. consoles, yeah. Yeah, I, and yeah, and all that sort of stuff. So, it's it's had a bit of a renaissance as of late, and it's thanks to the director's cut. Um, okay. Because the director's cut and uh, not as much, but two, True. essentially paid for Broken Sword Five to come out, along with a Kickstarter, and that Kickstarter did so well, they were able to make Beyond the Seal Sky, oh, which we just finished on the right, channel. Yes. So. So there you go, it's all like full circle. We're basically doing the entire Revolution back catalogue, and there's not much of them, they're a very small <laughs> studio. But my god, they're, they're, their back catalogue is incredible. So you know? yeah, it's, it's quanti quality, quality. Quality over quantity, yeah. for sure, yeah. So this is kind of a reimagining of the opening titles. It'd be the same with George. We'll see his story kick in eventually, but Nico gets first dibs on the director's cut here. So let's see what's going on here. Again, apologies for the lack of subtitles, folks. get your ass over to the Palais Royale now. Yes, not him. No Definitely not a pissnik of Jacques Chirac. <laughs> he asked for you personally. Don't ask me why. Anyhow, this could be big. So if he makes La Liberté basically, uh, essentially, is um, is your typical kind of the son yes. type rag, and that's what Nicole um, works at. Oh, okay, so that's her. Coming. So if you ever hear La Liberté, yeah. she works for them. Pierre Carchon was a media king. National so she hero. works for a rag, so you, she's the, the villain, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't mention that Liverpool in your grounds. <laughs> oh, that's a mime. Oh, that's a mime. It is a mime. Oh, fair play. <laughs> oh, that's creepy as fuck. Are you saying that mimes aren't creepy generally? Yeah, I wouldn't have an issue with mimes generally. Well, my, my, my principle is that if you see a mime, uppercut him. Uppercut a mime. Yeah. <laughs> if there's any takeaway from this playthrough, uppercut mimes. They deserve it. Yeah. So again, this is all rel relatively new story. <laughs> We're on the first floor. Oh, she just gets a My ladder up. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, it's not her yes, that's getting the ladder sure. up. Oh shit! The ice yeah. cream was certainly living up to a reputation. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mimey boy. Mime boy. Will you be staying for the interview, Mademoiselle? I know little of my husband's business affairs. Funny enough, this is the same voice actor talking to each other. <laughs> I oh, okay. have no intention of watching Very French you accent. Or Good at that. Pretty yes. Girl. Pretty. You're too kind, madame. Maybe she married into the family. Fair. She is the wife after all. Ah, oh, typical that the mime has a silencer. Yes. <laughs> Watch as his bullet walks against the wind. <laughs> I am honored. Oh, I'm sure you are. Call me Pierre, please. Oh, you well, you are. Yes. I was a friend of your father. He was a great man. My father, he never mentioned. He and I were very close. Oh, and God. Then his death, mm. so tragic. I must. <laughs> Imelda, your damned cat's in my study again. Another Ming vase, I suppose. Yes, he's so rich. Yes. Excuse me for Look minute. how happy he is that a Ming vase just got smashed by well, a cat. But he is a politician, you see. He's got the hide the, hide the yes, pain Harold the face. Of the world getting on there, madame. <laughs> That was no cat. <laughs> what? Monsieur Carson. Boom. Oh, he didn't do an uppercut now. No, that was a, that was a jab. Yeah, it's a proper, proper one on the jaw, like. He's dead. I must call the police. You'd better stay here. She seems was distraught. It yes, was very mind. distraught. Do you think he? It was the mine. Well, I believe we can rule out suicide, don't you? Oh, straight away. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder they called her the Ice Queen. She would have been top on my list of suspects if I hadn't seen the attacker myself. And if I hadn't come across a couple of murders just like this. Oh, movie. shit. One of the most important men in Europe murdered. And here was I, Nico Coulard, alone at the scene of the crime. Should I wait for the cops? Or no. start my own no. investigation? 
It was a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. So, so like I said, this is a fairly... It's, they've streamlined the interface a good bit, basically, and... You can, now you've kind of done like some kind of quality of life changes, like a diary if you get lost, or hints if you need okay. it. Okay. But, um, but I'll, I'll let you take the wheel here. So, okay. Vroom, vroom. Yes. So, you'll round, you'll Let's see, see. <laughs> you'll see that if you hover there, you'll see like the... Little these, blue flashy things? Yes. There are little things you can interact with, so you don't get lost, essentially. Okay. A lot, lot of quality of life changes. The hey, there's a subtitle hey, now. Hey, subtitle. Oh, it's a comic sand. Yeah, I know. Can't be helped. This is why people like the original. <laughs> <laughs> A bust of Pierre Cochon, humble servant of La France. Like I said, he's a. I suppose I don't know if he's a necessary politician, but certainly a top civil servant. Yeah, yeah. Way to put it. Like a mayor or something. Maybe, maybe. Definitely a power broker. That's kind of the, what Nico was saying there about all the other mur their murders. Is that they're people that are you? They are important people. Right. Like millionaires or politicians or presidents, prime ministers. Let's just say. Mines and guns don't usually go together, but I had an idea that this was no ordinary mine. I'd come across this murderer before. Yeah. Oh. I've written about him. The costume killer. At least that's what I called him. Now, yeah. so let's see. So she didn't think, like, this guy in a weird costume as of walking into this guy, an important guy's house. Hmm. Well, I suppose it's a shock of seeing a dead body, isn't it? Uh. Didn't notice it. It must have fallen when I was knocked down. So, yeah, but I, I closed his eyes. It was the least I could do for the poor fellow. You can tell it's by, written by a British uh, studio, can't Some you? Some people hate searching corpses for clues. <laughs> me, I'm okay with it. Reminds me of an old boyfriend. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that's this In now. In his pocket, I found a ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. Taking the ticket meant I tampered with the evidence. Uh -oh. oh, shit. There was no going back now. Because we're both forensic students, Car this is a cardinal sin. <laughs> Carchon had been shot. No oh, shit. Stop poking around the bu bullet hole. Pokey, 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 pokey. Stop pokey. it. You're making the boom worse. Pokey, pokey. Stop it. <laughs> Honestly. Freak. Uh, so if you wanted to, so if you uh, right click. Right click. I had closed yes. his eyes. When you see like two kind of happen. options. Oh yeah. The one like the kind of, the, the, the lesser one is the right click. Ah, okay. And so you I always open get. his eyes again. I, I did. Best to leave the crime scene as I found it. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. So, so uh, I think that's all I can see there. Pretty much, yeah. Now this is not like um, Sierra in a sense where like there's a point system where like you might lose if you if you kind of forget something. They have engineered all the death out of the director's cuts. Okay. So you can't necessarily die. You'll always have like a, a a moment to save yourself or like a little bit of text going, oh, don't go out here. Right. Get you. Okay. Whereas in the original game, you could die several yeah, times. Yeah. But they just boot you back you to where you were. Me the room. Kind of think of it like the Lucas Arts way of making games now. There is no necessarily jeopardy to this anymore. A small but, um, round piece of glass had been cut out of the pain. Ah, uh, I suppose that makes it good for me. There's less stress. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's more of a. It, it makes certainly makes the game more a bit more uh, chill. Put it that way. Yeah. Oh shit! We got a yeah. ball. Must have used a ladder to reach the window. He was long gone. Guess he folded that ladder up, popped it in his pocket, and took it with him. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yes. So that's pretty much. I think that's everything. Now, like I said, if you try and leave the, if you miss something, the character will go. I'm not finished here, type of deal. Okay. The police could turn up at any minute. Somewhere there were clues to the murder, and I needed to find them. Okay, yeah. so we've got loads of different things here yeah. to interact with. So that's good. Thanks yes. for the little clues there. Go back into that room, or go to a different room. Okay, I'll go to this room. Let's have a look there. Yeah. Fancy table. Mm. A Louis Quatorze table. With an antique cloth. The murder had taken. <laughs> it's kind of similar to Amelda Marcus, kind of yeah. name wise, it's like the. Mm. She likes shoes. Yes. I think she de she's definitely based off, like, she is the, the proverbial, like, you know, the, the president's wife yeah. type of decadence, you I know? I reckoned that cloth might just turn out to be useful. Sure. Oh! Ooh, what's that? I'm going to look at it there first. There was a tiny hole in the tabletop. Part of the inlay had been chipped away. Interesting. Okay. Even my fingernail wouldn't fit into such a small hole. Mm. I mean, we've all been there. Oh, hold on. I can inventory. Inventory. Uh, you yeah. click that item. Okay, so I'm going to try use this. <gasps> oh, very nice. You are just so damn good at this stuff. <laughs> Instead of comforting Imelda, I was ransacking her flat. Why? Because there was something <laughs> going on here. 
and I had to get answers before the cops arrived. And hey, she'd been rude to me, so she had it coming. <laughs> fair. That's a fair point. So it looks like you got a key there from that table. Yeah. So I'm gonna, interesting. can I close that over now? I suppose you could. I mean, with the hair clip. Okay, just make sure I leave it as I found it. No. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, you can take it back out of it then. Ah, there you go. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah. What have we got here? So All right, can look at this lovely painting. Yes. There's a Melda there. Melda had talent, but I certainly wasn't going to tell her that. Because she's rude. She's a bitch. It was a tube of acrylic paint. French ultramarine. Blue paint. Okay, blue paint. Mm. Just the colour I was after for my bathroom. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone is... <laughs> <laughs> Someone isn't stealing my shit, sir. Young lady, what are you So when you're in dialogue, these things oh, pop up now. Yeah. This is a new thing for the director's cut as well. my favourite colour. For God's sake, keep the damn stuff. Okay. So, now, what's oh, this? Oh, Mosaic. A medieval pageant. Original, no doubt. The tapestry must have cost a fortune. Did you do the tapestries in France after all? Right. I think I've seen everything there. I know I could go over and talk to this one, but you I'm going to go over to this room over here. Okay. If I can. Because uh, I feel like this, I want to see what's in this door. The door was locked. But I have oh. a key. It's probably not the right key, though, is it? A modern key on an antique door. Okay, fair enough. Going to work. Had to chance it. Had to chance it. Worth a shot. Let's talk to Imelda then. See what the story is. Can we get any kind of uh, reasons for why a mind would want to kill a, pro a, a famous politician like this? Too loud. <laughs> Is you is you one of those ones that in Parma just goes? <laughs> he was the speaker of the house. Order! <laughs> <laughs> or where the French is for that? Imelda looked shocked, but still every bit as hostile. <laughs> Excuse me, madame. They call the ice cream for a reason. Yes. Oh. So, okay. so this is the way it works. You can these are your kind of you can call it these as kind of options, but these are also your items. So you can show someone an item and see if you get information out of them. Okay, so, so um, I'm gonna say about mine. Yes. Want to kill your husband? Yeah, I had plenty of. Of course, in the original version, oh, you could show any item to anybody, stuff. and you might get around the answer. Oh, but okay. they just kind of abridge it a little bit in the director's call. My father, I have no idea. You didn't know him, Thierry Collard. Pierre knew a lot of people I didn't know. Most of them women. Ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably why I'm she's such a bitch. Yeah. Lost, madam. No, you're not. You're a journalist. Journalists don't feel sorry. Not true. We shall see. Mm. <laughs> you do you feel sorry? What did your I hope so. For me? What did he want to discuss? I have no idea. His business was his business. He never told you anything. No. And frankly, I preferred it that way. This is quite a scoop for you. I suppose you're already inventing the headlines. Just because I am a journalist, don't patronize me. <laughs> Speaking of cloth. <laughs> 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 